John Rutherford Allen was raised in a Navy family. Born at Fort Belvoir, Virginia in December 1953 to parents Lieutenant Commander Joseph and Elizabeth Allen, he grew up with his sister Frances and brother Joseph Jr. He chose to attend the Naval Academy out of deference to his father, who had been commissioned through the ranks during World War II. His father had enormous respect for the Naval Academy after witnessing graduates save his ship when it was torpedoed by a German U-boat in 1941. As a midshipman, John excelled in all respects. He held three command positions as 3rd Class Brigade Commander, 2nd Class Brigade Subcommander, and 1st Class 2nd Regimental Commander, and as President of the Military Parachute Club. In the Karate Club, he led his team to the National Collegiate Karate Championships, finishing third overall in black belt free fighting. Among the class of 1976, he ranked first in aptitude for naval service. The Lucky Bag noted that John kept busy holding a number of positions at the Academy and would become one of the few good men in the Marine Corps. After graduation, John attended basic school where he graduated with honors. Then he served as a platoon and rifle company commander, among other assignments. At the Defense Intelligence College, he was the distinguished graduate of his class in the Master of Science of Strategic Intelligence program. John is also the first Marine Corps officer inducted as a term member of the Council on Foreign Relations, where he is now a permanent member. He returned to the Naval Academy in 1988 as an instructor, where he was honored with the William P. Clements Award as Military Instructor of the Year. As commander of the 2nd Battalion, 6 Marines in the mid-90s when war raged in Bosnia, he served as rescue force commander for downed pilots and supported implementation of the Dayton Accords in Sarajevo. After commanding the basic school, he became the first Marine to serve as Commandant of Midshipmen at the Naval Academy, where he was present during the terrorist attacks on 9-11-2001 and the invasion of Iraq. In his first assignment as a general officer, he served as the principal director of Asian Pacific Affairs, where he was involved with policy initiatives across East Asia, participated in denuclearization talks of the Korean Peninsula, and was instrumental in South Asian tsunami rescue and relief efforts. As a general officer, he served in combat through all four stars, making him among the most combat experienced general or flag officer of our time. In 2007, he led Marines and soldiers during the most violent year of Operation Iraqi Freedom. He was instrumental in spearheading tribal revolts against Al-Qaeda, which led to the defeat of insurgent forces in the Al-Anbar region of Iraq. In the aftermath, as Deputy Commander of U.S. Central Command, he worked to contain Iran's terrorist activities. Starting in 2011, he commanded 150,000 U.S. and NATO forces in Afghanistan as the International Security Assistance Force commander, which made him the first Marine ever to command an active theater of war. After retiring from the Marine Corps in 2013, John served as an advisor in the Middle East peace process alongside Secretary of State John Kerry. In 2014, he was selected by President Obama to be his special presidential envoy to the Global Coalition to Counter the Islamic State. John was credited with creating the global coalition that stopped and eventually rolled back the onslaught of the Islamic State, for which he was decorated by both the Secretary of State and the Director of National Intelligence. After government service, John joined the Brookings Institution as a senior, then distinguished fellow. Then he was named as the 8th President of Brookings on October 2017, the first military leader to serve in that position. John received numerous awards for his military and federal service to our country, as well as international and private sector awards. As a co-inventor, he has been awarded five U.S. patents for systems that will aid in current and future combat operations. He currently resides in Mount Vernon, Virginia with his wife, Catherine Glickert Allen. They have two daughters, Betty and Bobby, and three grandchildren, Teddy, Joey, and Katie. John says his family is his most meaningful accomplishment, while leading Marines and sailors in combat is the greatest privilege of his career. Beyond that, he is grateful for his command and peacekeeping opportunities, with his highest honor being his selection as Special Presidential Envoy, General John Rutherford Allen, an extraordinary leader serving our nation in combat and peace.